Hey guys, I love hats. As you can see back there, I've got a bunch of different options of these type of hats. I love baseball hats. I love beanies. I love all kinds of different styles because they're very stylish. They can add a ton of style to your looks. But I think what I enjoy about them the most is the fact that they cover hair days like this. Right now is crazy. None of us can go to the barber. A lot of our hair is growing out or it's just getting a little bit nuts. So getting into hats now, there's no time like the present, right? I've been a hat person for years, not just this style, all of them. So I'm gonna teach you what I've learned in all of my trial and error. I mean, for years I was like a hardcore flat bill person back in the day. I've done the newsboy cap thing. I've done the dad cap thing, as you can see. So I'm gonna share my tips with you so that after this video, you can become a hat person as well. And you don't have to see that person out on the street once we're finally allowed to go out back onto the street and say, man, that guy looks cool. I wish I could pull off a hat because after this video, you can. Also, these rules that I'm going to tell you about that I follow, they're not just for one specific type of hat. You can apply them to any style to add a bunch of different just personal touches to your outfits to be looking really awesome. So the first thing that I learned that was smart was to take baby steps. As with anything in fashion, this is gonna take time. It's gonna take just some research and figuring out what you like, what you feel stylish in. What I would recommend as a starting point, obviously like an athletic hat like this one is really nice, but when you're ready to start getting into more like fedora style, the best place to start is a straw Panama style hat because they're easy to pull off. I got this one at Target for like 15 bucks last summer. Easy to pull off and they're kind of the most expected. So you're not gonna turn a ton of heads right away and have everyone like, ooh, look at that guy. He's wearing a hat, he's a hat guy. Also consider where you are wearing the hat. Wear it to the beach, wear it to the lake, somewhere that hats are already kind of expected to be worn or aren't gonna be out of the norm. If you show up on the first time you wearing a hat with this one to the club or something, people are gonna be like, whoa, Parker's not a hat guy. Why is he wearing this crazy hat all of a sudden, like trying to pull that off? Gradually take those baby steps, start with something straw like that, and it's going to become more of the norm. You're gonna get those reps in and that's just gonna boost your confidence. It's gonna make you feel more comfortable wearing all kinds of other types of hats as well. My next tip is you gotta know your size. Ideally, if you have like a soft uh, measuring tape like this, that's perfect. Ditch this hat. Measure right around the crown of your head so that you get a good idea of what your size is. If you don't own one of these, which is completely reasonable and fine, take a piece of string or a shoestring. Let's do that. Take a shoestring from one of your shoes or an extra one, wrap it around your head kind of right around this area where a hat would land. Hold this spot on the end and then take a tape measure and measure that. And that's gonna give you a good idea of your size because you don't wanna walk into a store or order something online just kind of guessing like, oh, I'm probably a medium. Hats are weird, you never know. It's also helpful right now since we can't go out and shop because if you're gonna be shopping for something online, it's just, smarter to know the exact size because a lot of places are gonna list what the size of the hat circumference is in centimeters. The third thing that I learned that you definitely wanna keep in mind is that you wanna try and try and try again. This is the time period where you learn what works personally for you because there are so many different types of hats out there. The only way to really learn because you can analyze your face shape and watch videos on what type of shape works best with what type of hat and all that's nonsense as far as I'm concerned. The only real way to learn what you feel comfortable in and what works for you is to put hats on your head. How else will you learn that you love a captain's hat? So try different things. You know, right now it's a little bit tough because you can't go into a hat store, but feel free to order like five different things online, fully understanding that you're probably gonna be returning either all five of them or four out of the five and then you'll start to understand what works for you. Because you can see, I have a pretty similar style with everything that I wear, everything that I own in terms of fedora styles. 
once quarantine is over and you can actually go out into the world, my recommendation would not be to get a cap and tat until you're very comfortable with hats. But my recommendation would be to grab yourself a coffee, go to the local hat shop in your town and literally just spend 45 minutes trying on a bunch of different hats. The store clerks will help you, but really it's just about seeing what you feel good in, what kind of fits your style and going with that as opposed to just trying to like guess. So save yourself the time, the effort and the embarrassment and figure out what works for you before you even start to become a more serious hat person. And the final thing that I learned the hard way through trial and error is to just let it be. If you're wearing a hat, keep the rest of your outfit pretty toned down. You don't wanna over accessorize. So it's a perfect compliment to something like what I'm wearing right now, which is jeans and a t-shirt. Throw on some boots, maybe add on a watch, simple brown, and you're good. The hat adds a lot of style to the look, it doesn't make things too crazy over the top, also covers your bad hair day, or if you don't have any hair at all, it's a perfect way to protect your head from the sun. No brainer. And there you go, guys. Now you know all about hats. You know how to become a hat person and the trial and error that took me 10 years to learn, you've learned in the last several minutes. So that's pretty awesome. Quick recap, you wanna take it slow, you don't want to dive in too much because you're just going to waste time and you're just going to have a bad time. Second, you want to know your size so that when you are going and shopping for yourself, it's an easier experience, especially if you're shopping online. And you want to make sure that you're trying a bunch of different styles to save yourself a headache, to save yourself a bunch of extra money that you're not going to be needing to spend or you're going to be wasting your money if you just buy a bunch of stuff hoping to try. But following those tips, keeping those in mind. It's gonna make your style improve. It's gonna make you feel better about yourself because you're gonna have all kinds of new options and ways to leave the house, adding a lot of extra style to your otherwise very regular, simple outfits. Hope you guys enjoyed. There's links down in the description to some of my favorite hats. If you wanna check them out for yourself, go follow me on Instagram. Always styling hats on there in lots of different ways. Let me know what you thought about the video down in the comments and I will see you on the next one. Bye.